All right, YouTube, I wanted to do a little uh, demonstration of this wood cart I made uh, for my tiny workshop here. It's right across from my, my garage is a mess right now. I got to pull this out and uh, sweep up all the sawdust, clean up and restack the wood in a better, more organized way. But I just wanted to show, this is what I made to hold my wood, uh, no pun intended. And I got to fix it up. I didn't really finish it because I didn't exactly know what I wanted to do. And I didn't have time to do any more. So I just threw the wood on it the way it is. But it's starting to lean. I don't know if you can notice in this video. But it's starting to lean because uh, I only have those 4x4 uh, four four posts holding it up. Um, and I guess I didn't count on having this much wood on it. Uh, so I'm going to pull it into my other garage and then I'll show you guys what it looks like without all the wood on it and I'll show you what I'm going to do to fix it up and how I act, what I actually did to build it. Okay, so this is the wood rack without any wood on it. You can see I didn't really finish it. I didn't have time and I really didn't know what my needs were at the time. I wanted to use it a little while and see what, what I would need you know to add to it uh, I just got these wood racks off of Home Depot I'm sorry Alpha of Amazon and I want to say they were I don't know maybe 60 bucks I don't remember I it's been probably a year now and uh, they're meant to be hung on a wall and then hang your wood on the wall which I thought about doing but I really like the idea of it being mobile so I got some wheels the wheels are from Home Depot and so this side is for my straight lumber which is all right there now and the other side was meant for plywood let me move around here hopefully I'm not making you dizzy this side was meant for plywood so what you can see has happened is these have started leaning and oops let me zoom back out these have started leaning this has come loose because i really didn't have it secured to anything these ones had blocks on them so they're not as loose but they're still loose and leaning forward the weight of the plywood on the back pushing it forward plus the weight of the straight lumber pulling it down has caused it to bow out a little uh so I'm going to reinforce that and uh, put a shelf on the bottom for my small stock, which is all back there. I've been resting it on there, but it falls through all the time and hasn't been a problem. I really wanted to put a drawer underneath, but I didn't get the hardware for it. I wanted to drop it down a little, drop down uh, some 2x4s on each side and have like a couple drawers maybe with some really small uh, stuff in it that I hang on to. And then I want to make some blocks in here going across to put long, you know, cut, but longer stock in the top to stick out. I don't know if I made that clear, but when I do it, when I, you know, I'll show you, I'm going to start working on it. I'm going to put some metal angles on the four by fours to keep them uh, a little straighter from leaning, leaning over. I rolled it from one garage to the other. It still felt pretty sturdy, uh, but I don't want to take a chance. I don't want to get it to where I want it to last a little while longer. And uh, so I'm going to make some some changes to it to beef it up a little bit and make it more useful for some of the smaller stock. That's the problem I was having with it the most was smaller stock. And then I want to put this only came with two. I didn't want to buy two sets these metal brackets they only came with two I didn't want to buy two sets because it would have been expensive and I didn't it was a little overkill so instead I got some cheap bars that are meant for floating shelves that I can put on here and have like a center have like a center post to give it some more weight out here I'm in the desert and all my wood seems to bow very easily. Uh, like I buy it and it's perfectly straight and then I sit it on here for a little while 
Um, and I usually have wood underneath of it to keep it up, but it's just, it's still bowing. So I'm going to put something in the middle to give it a little bit more support. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you each step of what I'm doing and uh, let's get started. All right guys, I'm back. I finished up my lumber cart and I'll show you guys what I've done to spruce it up a little bit. Here it is. There's all the wood that I had on it and then that stuff back there too. Before I had to mix in all my long strands and my uh, short strands and I have to keep putting the, the long ones on the bottom and the short ones on the top when I got new ones and uh, this hopefully will help me to uh, help while I don't have to do that anymore but uh, so here it is I put these metal L brackets on the bottom down there and then that really sturdied everything up I tied them all together I used up a lot of this discolored lumber that I couldn't use or bowed lumber uh, and I finished sheeting the bottom one day I didn't do it this time uh, my wife's kicking me out of this garage she wants to park in here I'm gonna put a drawer on the bottom of it but for right now I can put all the really small pieces in there and then I know it looks kind of funky what I did in here you're probably thinking like what the heck did he do did he not have enough lumber but this is actually on purpose uh, I, I did this so I could I put a little shelf kind of thing down there so I could put in these short pieces so now I don't have to have those just sitting on the top of the other pieces all my short ones I got that one and then I got this one's a little bit more shallow this one's uh, one foot the other side's two foot um, so there you go I'll have a little bit more space for all those shorties back there sitting on the ground and uh That's the whole thing. It rolls really nice. Let me show you. I was going to put some more brackets on the side using some floating shelf uh, posts, but they didn't, they weren't long enough. So they really wouldn't have done any good. So I just left it like it is where it's got a wider span. Eventually, maybe I'll order another pack of, of uh, another set of those. But. The reason I didn't do it is because you can't buy just one. So if I order a whole set of two of them, I don't know what I'm going to do with the other one. I'm going to just have an extra one. It's it's 50 bucks just for one. If I order another two sets, maybe I could do another triple one on the wall somewhere in the garage for excess lumber. So it rolls really nice. This size for plywood, like I said. I got the plywood in the other garage but yeah that's where the plywood sits here's a side angle yeah that's all it is not much to it it should hold the lumber pretty nice now it's a lot more sturdy now that I tied all three of these together I blocked the uh, middle 4x4 it wasn't blocked in the at the bottom it was just screwed into the if you remember from the previous part of the video the before it was just screwed into the two by fours gone past it now I put blocks in front of it so it can't bend as easily and when they're all tied together man it is a lot sturdier so that's it man I just used a bunch of scrap wood and I'm really happy with it I don't know what else I'm gonna do with it later down the road I might find something else I want to do besides the shelf on the bottom But uh, for right now, this is this is going to be it. If anybody has any other ideas or something else I could have done, leave it down in the comments. Um, I'm really happy to get any ideas. I, I looked online at a bunch of different carts, and I kind of picked some of the best stuff I liked. But if anybody has any other ideas that I didn't see or I didn't think of, um, let me know. Leave it down in the comments. Okay, so here it is loaded. Just wanted to show you that real quick. And there's my smaller stock in the top. And there's some of the smaller stock in the bottom. And there's I got I got it organized by size. I got a couple short ones in there because I was doing some stuff. 
uh, and then some of the longer ones. I actually didn't have enough room in all, in those two to carry all the short stuff. So I'm going to start uh, getting rid of some of it that I'm probably not going to use. Like I, I saved some of the bold stuff and I could probably not do that. But anyways, there it is. Uh, here's just a quick look at the garage. It still kind of takes up a lot of room. I don't know if you can see the plywood back there. Uh, I almost I go back and forth with just putting those right on the wall and I just I just like to be able to move it but you see it, it takes up a lot of space I actually rearranged it and got it on this side because my doors on this side and it's stuck into the doorway but anyways let me know what you guys think if you think I should just hang it on the wall uh, if you can think of a, a different idea a better idea for uh, a wood cart and uh, leave it in the comments uh, please like and share this video or and uh, comment I'm getting new to this so any suggestions you can give me if I'm too long-winded or I'm not uh, talking enough uh, leave it down in the comments I know I say uh, a lot but I'm getting over that all right thanks